Hello everyone, and welcome to the live demonstration of major features in the new version of the Spider Pro. My name is Roma, and let's get started. Uh, the first improvement was done for the modified tab extend command. I will select a bar. Please note that the bars are separated with the nodes. And if I would like to extend the bar, it will be like this. So I will want to see such behavior. So new checkbox was added to create new nodes. After that, press extend, and this result is much better. Next improvement is the possibility to change the number of the nodes for selected bars. It can be done by the robot itself using, for example, object inspector, but in some cases it a little bit time consuming procedure. It depends because the bar has start and end nodes. And for example, if I would like to change the number of these nodes, number change the node number for these three bars. I will select these bars and the node numbers is different because for some of the bars this is a start node, for other bars this is an end node. But now I can do using these options I will put node number five and node number seven after that I will select Bars, press the children's number, and that's it. And the next option is the possibility to create a load map to control real loads or to prepare uh, some data for the calculation report. For example, I have a slab with a different uh, load and contour. You can select this load and chip. So it's all in contour with different um, values. How command operates? I have to select load case number, which is my load case 2, with level number, not level. And then I have to input Z value. It means uh, the distance between existing panels, between existing uh, load and contour, and new. Panels. For example, it will be one meter. So press create panels. Then I will go here. Select my panels. Open in the video. And display attributes. Thickness legend by color. We may see our legend. The CQL will value of the area load. In addition, we can add panel um, thickness labels to the slide. Or if we need to check by hover over the mouse, we can see the um, labeling here in this area of the robot label. So, as you may see, one load is missing, and here it will be not so easy to recognize which load is not defined in each place. And when we already check the loads, we will press select panels and delete all these panels. So that's it. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.